first stage of the 2023 Neom Titan Desert Saudi Arabia with a spectacular loop course of 78 kilometers and 420 meters of elevation gain. 200 Titans gathered at the start of the Titan Mountain Camp ready to face the demands and the harshness of the desert. The day started with an amazing passage through canyons and rock formations that has served to form the leading group with the main favorites for the general classification. Miguel Faust tried several solo attacks, but it was not until the big climb of the day, at kilometer 40, when the peloton broke up. Enrique Morcillo launched a heart attack that could be only be answered by Aymar Zubeldia. Luis Leon Sánchez tried to put an end to the breakaway, but a fall prevented him from doing so. The stage victory was finally settled in a close sprint that was won by the Booth Megamo rider, who took the first provisional leader's jersey. Ten minutes behind arrived the second group, led by an exhausted Luis León Sánchez and Julen Zubero. Nos hemos visto que nos quedamos solos y ya hasta meta ha sido como una crono. In the women's GC, Tessa Cortecas and Ariana Rodenas have not hidden their cards and shadowed each other closely until the stage was decided in a sprint, with a narrow victory for the Dutch rider, the first virtual leader. I'm happy to, to win the stage and to start tomorrow in the leader jersey and let's see what's, what's happening tomorrow. Tomorrow comes the Queen stage, the longest and steepest day of this Neom Titan Desert Saudi Arabia, with a new loop route defined by the abundance of steep slopes and the hardness of the rocky terrain. <laughs>